everyone welcome back to my channel this is you and again from size is kimono today are we doing a bunny are we not masubi basically for you guys now before i actually wanted to start the tutorial i'll be doing it on my mannequin by the way is because this masubi requires someone else to kind of tidy, uh, tidy things for you after you've um turn it around to the back because it has those two ears and those do stick up now with any uh, musubi you may notice that when you turn it to the back it kind of get lopsided whatever so that's why i'm doing this so on the, the mannequin so that you can actually see how it's supposed to look like and if it's partner spouse or friend or whatever can easily just tuck things back for you that way also, reason um, I wanted to kind of come up here and show you guys what you actually need for this musubi because there's well a fair amount, so to speak. First of all, I have here two hairbands that I'll be using to tie the ears together. Then you'll want to use any sort of clip. I have this one, but you can use like a coast pack for when you're drying your uh, laundry or whatever. I have either um, Sanju Himo or a regular Koshi Himo. You can use either one of them. I personally prefer the Sanju Himo. Then I have another clip here. This part will be for the middle, for where the nose is actually. Um, the original tutorial used some kind of hairband that had a button on it. I don't have any of those, so if you can get your hands on something similar or like one of those elastic bands that has a small flower on it that'd be even more perfect and aside from that your regular hanawa will be now in the original tutorial they used one with uh, a reverse one on one side was yellow one side was a like a light pink that'd be even more perfect if you have one of those. I personally don't, so I kind of have to make do with what I have. I have a light yellow yukata on my mannequin, so I'll be using this obi instead. It's not ideal, but I guess I have to work with what I have. So without further ado, let's hop into the tutorial. Okay, so first off, we're going to prepare the actual bunny ears. I want to start out with one of the sides. The original uh, tutorial started with the left side, so that's what I'll be doing as well. So I have one part, one corner, you place it on the bottom line, and then you repeat the same steps on the other side. So I have like basically this triangle, and here on the actual point you're going to place your clip so we can fold it over what we're going to do now is fold in both sides to the middle of the clip And then you're going to fold it again. Sorry about that. It's about 22 degrees inside my apartment, so I kind of left the door open. So I fold it in again. And now just folding it open. And I have a bunny here. So I already have my hairbands on my wrist. So now I'm just going to tie it off. Make sure that it doesn't move. So that's bunny ear one. I'm going to repeat the same process on the other. But well, this one's a little bit more difficult, so try to make it as square as you can. And then you simply repeat it, the whole process. Just make sure that you have a straight line here. 
Need a little bit more obi. Much easier if you use a clothes pack for this. Okay. So again, folding inwards. number two and again tying it off with an elastic band so we have, have both our ears and now we can start off with tying the obi okay so now we're going to start off with tying the obi do is just place the, the rabbit ears in the middle and then you start wrapping. So what I saw what the person who not did the original uh, tutorial do is actually taking the clip and just placing it on the datajime or the koshimo that they had there so that the ears will stay in place. There we go. So we can more easily tie the old around the waist. And just covering and tying. Just making sure that everything is nice and tight. Now to pull the ears out a little bit, making sure that we can tie. And what we're going to do now is pull the obi around, and then underneath here, so that the ears are kind of locked in place. Hope you can see what I'm doing. Sanju Himo or the Koshi Himo, depending on what you prefer. So that the two ears sit right on top. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is a little bit different than the original tutorial. I actually wanted to do it that uh, their way, however, it turned out I had about 40 centimeters or so less fabric than I originally planned. And maybe because of either the OB or the mannequin being bigger than the one they used. 
That's totally fine. I'll be doing it slightly different. However, it will still yield the same result as in the original tutorial. So I've got my Sanju Himo here. You can use a Koshi Himo as well. I'll be do just doing it with the Sanju Himo here. So first you want to grab the end and slide it from underneath the first and just all the way up. Just make sure that everything is nice and straight. down again just making sure that everything sits nice and straight so got this here and then we're going to take the second so if you're using a koshihimo again you will take um, the orbit through the first one so the one that's closest to you and then the one that's behind that so this one we're going to do it reversed we're going to slide it from up downwards it's kind of making a roll myself you see you can see that and slowly making a roll so that you have the same amount of layers so just zoom in a little bit for you guys. There you go. Hope you can see. So, ideally, you want to have the layers just as long as one another. Oh, that's a little bit too much. So that they fit in perfectly within one another. That way you will kind of prevent excess fabric bunching in here. So with that we're going to make the bunny's face so to speak. Now I originally wanted to use that clip however it turned out it didn't work. So I'll be using a regular hairband instead. So what you simply do is just grab the front um, fold and kind of make a bunko knot. So you press it in the middle and then fold up one side and then fold up the other. And you simply wrap your hairband or whatever you're using around. You tighten it and slightly move it to the back so that's not as visible. I'm going to move mine further down. So that's the kind of snout of your rabbit. So that is the actual musubi part done, however we're, we're not entirely done just yet. I have a obiag here because you kind of want to cover up your koshi himo or sanju himo. So what I do is go into the first layer. And simply tie it as you would normally. Loosely the timeline for now. So make sure that everything of the Koshihimo or Sanjuhimo is covered. And ideally you want to use a colour that is again contrasting with the obi and the yukata. Depending on the obi you might want to choose a colour that is either complementary or contrasting to both of the colours. As you can see there's not a lot of difference between um, one side and the other in terms of colour but that's okay, that's just this orbi. And then 
lastly, just tying it off with a aubergine. Now this one you're going to put on the back of the second layer, so to speak, so that this part is totally free. Well, that there's no aubergine visible, so to speak. And then simply wrap your aubergine. Okay, so with that, the, the rabbit musubi is done. If you tie it on yourself, then please go ahead and turn it to the back. Now I'm going to move the rabbit ears a little bit further apart, just making sure that none of the uh, fabric is visible in the back. So if you do turn it around to, uh, to the back, uh, it may um, happen that the ears are not as straight up or whatever anymore. So if you can, just take a look in a mirror or ask someone to put them upright again. So this is too back. So I'll rearrange the front a little bit for you guys. Um, hmm, kind of sits nice and neat myself. I guess it's a fortunate day for me today. So with that, as you can see, the part of the sandra here must sticks out a little bit, so make sure that everything of all the ties that you've used are back in its place. So yeah, with that we are finished with this tutorial, and yeah, with that we'll let you guys go, I guess I'll see you next time. Bye everyone!